One of the most famous studies of obedience was done by Stanley Milgram. Stanley Milgram was interested in obedience. Now, this is when an authority figure commands you to do something. They're not asking a favour, so you must do this. You just do it. Quite often in life, it's good to do that. If a police person or a judge or your parents ask you to do something or tell you to do something, then most of the time you probably should do it. But part of being an adult, part of being a morally evolved human being, is that we know when to obey and when to disobey. Obedience is a particular type of compliance. We have to find those moral boundaries and know when to comply and when not to. Milgram was thinking about obedience at the time that Eichmann, a high-ranking Nazi official, one of the main people responsible for the Holocaust, was standing trial for war crimes. Milgram wanted to find out how far ordinary people would go in obeying orders. Would they, like Eichmann and the other Nazis working in the concentration camps, execute strangers if they were told to? Milgram designed what's probably the most famous psychological experiment of all time to test his ideas about obedience. In his studies, he had two people in the lab. Next, the experimenter said, we're going to be trialling this radical new technique for learning. We have this theory, he said, where if people make a mistake when they're learning, if they forget something or they misremember something, what you should do is give them an electric shock and then they're less likely to forget down the track. They were split up into being learners and teachers. The learner was strapped up to some electrodes and then the teacher had to ask the questions. And every time the learner got it wrong or didn't answer, they had to zap the learner. Actually, the learner was a confederate working with the experimenter, but the person being the teacher didn't know that. Initially, these were just really slight shocks, like tiny little zaps, only 15 volts. They're harmless. But each time the learner got it wrong, the teacher had to increase the voltage. You can see on the console just how extreme it started to get. At first, it's no big deal. The shocks aren't really that big, but it keeps going up. And then suddenly you could be giving people a very strong shock. And then 255 volts is an intense shock. 315 volts, an extremely intense shock. You get that up to 375 volts. It's quite dangerous. And then by 450 volts, we're talking about these ominous three Xs. The question was, how many people would go all the way?